Hello children. Welcome back to the lecture series of ICC 9th Maths. We were doing the chapter Simultaneous Linear Equations. We will be doing the sums from Aris Agarwal, 5A exercise and question number 19. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. So question number 19 is 3 upon x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 3. And the second equation is 2 upon x plus y plus 3 upon x minus y is equal to 11 upon 3. So here you can see the variables are at the denominator. So we need to consider, first we will write let 1 upon x plus y is equal to some other alphabet. Let me take it as a and 1 upon x minus y I am considering this as b. So now the whole this equation becomes 3a plus 2b is equal to 3 and this equation becomes 2a plus 3b is equal to 11 upon 3. Okay, so this is suppose my equation number 1 and this is my equation number 2. Now what I can do is here you can see the coefficients are reversed. Okay, here the coefficient of a, a, a is 3 and here the coefficient of b is 3. Here b is 2 and coefficient of a is 2. So in this case is what we can do is we can add the equations once. We get one equation and then we can subtract the equations. We get another equation and then solve it. That is one thing that we will do if the numbers are quite big. Here the numbers are not very big. So what I will do is I will multiply this whole equation by uh, 2 and this whole equation by 3. Okay. So what is the first equation becomes? This becomes 6a plus 4b is equal to 6 and the second equation becomes 6a plus 9b is equal to 11 by 3 into 3 is only 11. So now we can see this is 6a, this is also plus 6a. So we will subtract because if we subtract the signs will get changed. So we will subtract this is minus, this is also minus and this is also minus. So this gets cancelled. Now 4b minus 9b will give you minus 5b and 6 minus 11 will give you minus 5. Here minus and minus gets cancelled and we get b is equal to 5 upon 5, that's 1. Now what is my b? My b is 1 upon x minus y. So I'll write, therefore, 1 upon x minus y is 1. And finally I get x minus y is equal to 1. I'll put this equation number 3. This is my equation number 3. Now I'll put the value of b in either of these two equations to get the value of a. So let us put it in equation number 1. Putting putting b is equal to 1 in equation 1. So what is my equation 1? My equation 1 is 3a plus 2b. So in place of b I will write 1 is equal to 3. So here I get 3a is equal to 3 minus 2. That is 3a is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 upon 3. Now what is a? My a is 1 upon x plus y. So I will write therefore 1 upon x plus y is equal to 1 upon 3 and hence x plus y is equal to 3. This is my equation 4. So now you can see we got, we got two smaller equations. One is x minus y is equal to 1 and the other one is x plus y is equal to 3. So now we need to solve those two equations. Okay. So let us solve this. I will rub this part. So now, I will write x minus y is equal to 1. This is my equation 3. And x plus y is equal to 3. This is my equation 4. And I will add these two equations. If I add these two equations, minus y and plus y will get cancelled. So I get 2x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 4 upon 2. That is 2. So one of the value of the variable is 2. Now put this value anywhere. Putting any one of the equation, I mean either in 3 or in 4, putting x is equal to 2 in equation 4 I am putting it. Okay, so 2 plus y is equal to 3 
or y is equal to 3 minus 2 that is 1. So I got the values of x and y, x is 2 and y is 1. So let us proceed to the next sum. This is 23x minus 29y is equal to 98 and 29x minus 23y is equal to 110. So in this case we can see that uh, 23x and this is 23y. That means the coefficients of x and y are reversed. Here 29y, this is 29x. In this case, what we need to do is, we will take the equations what are given to us. 23x minus 29y is equal to 98. Another one is 29x minus 23y is equal to 110. And now simply these two equations will add them together. So first we'll add them. So what happens here is 52x minus 52y is equal to 208 we get after adding them. Take 52 common so it is x minus y is 208 or x minus y is 208 upon 52. So this gets cancelled by 4 so we get x minus y is equal to 4. This is my equation number 1. I get a very small equation after adding the equations which are given to us. Now, the same equations we'll take and we'll subtract them. So first I'm taking 29x minus 23y is equal to 110. I'm taking the second equation first and then the first one that is 23x minus 29y is equal to 98 and I'll subtract. You can take any two equations. You can even do 1 minus 2. I did 2 minus 1. You can do 1 minus 2 also. Not a problem. So this is minus, this is plus and this is minus. So here you get 6x plus 6y is equal to 12. Okay, so take 6 common. So x plus y is equal to 12 or x plus y is equal to 2. This is my second equation. Now you can see clearly this is x minus y4 and this is x plus y2. We can solve them together. So I will take x minus y is equal to 4 and x plus y is equal to 2 and I will add the two equations. So minus y plus y will get cancelled. x plus x is 2, x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 3. So we got one of the value of the variable that is x is equal to 3. Now we will put x is equal to 3 in any of the equation. So I am putting x is equal to 3 in equation. 2. So 3 plus y is 2 or y is equal to minus y. So we got the values of x and y. x is 3 and y is minus 1. Okay, so let us take the next question. Question number 24 is if 2x plus y is equal to 32 and 3x plus 4y is 68, find the value of x upon y. So uh, let us multiply. Uh, we will take first 2x plus y is equal to 32. This is my equation number 1 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 68, this is my equation number 2. Now multiplying the equation number 1 by 4, I multiply this whole equation by 4, so this becomes 8x plus 4y is equal to 128, this is my equation number 3. Now what I do is, I will subtract 2 from 3, 3 minus 2, so 8x plus 4y is equal to 128 and this is 3x plus 4y is equal to 68. Since I am subtracting the signs will get changed, I will change all the signs. Now this gets cancelled, 8 minus 3 that is 5x is equal to uh, 60, 5x is equal to 60 so x is equal to 12. We get the value of x, now we will put the value of x in equation number 1. So put in x is equal to 12 in equation 1. So 2 into 12 plus y is equal to 32. This is my equation 1. I put the value of x over here. So this is 24 plus y is equal to 32 or y is equal to 32 minus 24. That is 8. So we got the value of y also. Now they are asking for x upon y. So the value of x is 12 and the value of y is 8. Cancel it, 4, 3, 4, 2. So the value of x upon y is 3 upon 2. 
So now the last question of this exercise, that is question number 25. The sides of an equilateral triangle are x plus 3 by centimeter, 3x plus 2y minus 2 centimeter and 4x plus y upon 2 plus 1 centimeter. Find the length of each side. So here since it is an equilateral triangle, we know that all sides are equal. So we'll apply this x plus 3y should be equal to 3x plus 2y minus 2 and that should be equal to 4x plus y upon 2 plus 1. Okay, now I'll take these two first. So x plus 3y is equal to 3x plus 2y minus 2. So now x, I'll get 3x this side, so that's minus 3x plus 3y, get 2y this side, minus 2y is equal to minus 2 x minus 3x is minus 2x plus y is equal to minus 2. If you want you can take minus common and change the sign so it will be 2x minus y is equal to 2. This is my equation number 1. Now I will make, I can either make this is equal to the last expression or the second expression is equal to the last expression. So I will take the second is equal to the last. 3x plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 4x plus y upon 2 plus 1. I'll take all the x and one y quantities in the left hand side. So 3x minus 4x plus 2y minus y upon 2 and the constant term on the right hand side so 1 plus 2. So now 3x minus 4x is minus x and plus 2y minus y upon 2 is 3 take LCM here 2, so this will be minus 2x plus 4y minus y is 3, so that's minus 2x, 4y minus y is plus 3y is equal to 2 goes that side, that is 6. So now you can take, this is 2x minus y, this is minus 2x, so we can do what, we can add the two equations, 1 and 2. So I'm doing it here now, adding equation 1. 2, 2. So equation 1 is 2x minus y is equal to 2 and equation 2 is minus 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. This is your 3y. Okay. So now add them together. This is getting cancelled. Y minus y plus 3y will give you plus 2y. This is 8. So y is equal to 4. We got the value of y. Now we will put the value of y in equation number 1. Doing it here, putting, putting y is equal to 4 in equation 1. So 2x plus, sorry, 2x minus 4, 2x minus 4 is equal to 2, 2x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 3. So I got the values of x and y. But the question is not complete till now. x is equal to 3 I got and y is equal to 4 I got. Okay. Now I need to find out the values for uh, values of all the sides. So we have, we have to put the values of x and y in the expression to get all the sides. Okay. So I'll just rub it. Wait one minute. Okay, I'll do it here. So the first side, the first side is what? First side is x plus 3y. To put the values of x and y there, so it is 3 plus 3 into 4, that's 3 plus 12, that is 15 centimeters. Similarly, you have to put the values of x and y in the second and third expression. So the second side is equal to 3x plus 2y minus 2, so that's 3 into 3 plus 2 into 4 minus 2, this 9 plus 8 minus 2. That is 15. This is also 15 centimeter. Obviously, all the sides will come 15 centimeter because it's a equilateral triangle. It is already told that it is an equilateral triangle. Let us check also. The third side is 4x plus y upon 2 plus 1. So it's 4 into 3 plus 4 by 2 plus 1. So that's 12 plus 2 plus 1. That is 15 centimeters. So all the sides are 15 centimeters since it is an equilateral triangle. So dear children, we have completed the exercise 5a from R.S. Agarwal um, from simultaneous linear equation. In our next video, we are going to start with uh, exercise uh, 5b which is your cross multiplication method. So stay tuned and thank you so much.